I found Jack Gilbert's books in my office, the office that had once been his. It was almost like the room was still warm from his presence. I read his poems and was overcome by their grandeur, and by how much his writing reminded me of Whitman. We must risk the light, he wrote. We must have the stubbornness to accept our gladness in the ruthless furnace of this world. He and I had the same surname. We held the same job. We inhabited the same office. We had taught many of the same students, and now I was in love with his words. Naturally enough. I became deeply curious about him. I asked around, "Who was Jack Gilbert?" Students told me he was the most extraordinary man they've ever encountered. He had seemed not quite of this world, they say. He seemed to live in a state of uninterrupted marvel, and he encouraged them to do the same. He didn't so much teach them how to write poetry, they said, but why? Because of the light, because of the stubborn gladness. He told them that they must live their most creative lives as a means of fighting back against the ruthless furnace of this world. Most of all, though, he asked his students to be brave. Without bravery, he instructed, they would never be able to realize the vaulting scope of their own capacities.